Hey guys, in this video I want to share with you some of the tips and apps that I use to improve my experience with the Google Nexus 7 tablet. Uh, my first app is the camera app. Um, like you guys know, the Nexus 7 tablet comes with a front facing camera, but it comes with no stock camera. So I recommend you guys to go ahead to the app store and download the camera launcher for Nexus 7. It is perfectly good and it looks very nice and it's like a native stock camera app and it works perfectly just like any camera would like you can see right there you got a front facing camera you got the controls to zooming which works very nice and you also got more controls for exposure white balance you can also go to video video works very good and you can also use panorama and this is great app because it, you know like you can see right there it feels like a normal like a stock camera app so go ahead and download the camera app the Nexus 7 tablet comes with no note app and one great note app that I've been using is color note color note is a very good app that lets you create um, apps based on text just like this a normal it looks like a yellow sticky note or whatever and you could here you could go ahead and change the color of the notes which is very nice it will also let you create a checklist which is very nice like if you want to, if you need to go shopping and whatever you add products right there very cool it works very nice you can also put a let me um, here from from the app as well you could go ahead and has a calendar which is very nice uh, you can archive your 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 uh, notes. Uh, you can access your trash can. You could change the the theme to dark if you like. It's a very cool looking one. Let's go ahead and change back to white. Um, the great thing about this is that you can um, have your this same app on your phone and on your tablet and whatever note that you create on your phone, you will be able to sync it with your tablet. Another feature that the Nexus 7 tablet doesn't has is rotation. Like you can see, it doesn't rotate. It just states stays port portrait unless you open up an app or a browser or whatever and they actually rotate automatically. But if you want to force the rotation of your tablet, I recommend using um, Ultimate Rotation. It's a very good app and it lets you from here also control the rotation as well you could go ahead from here and force auto and once you choose to force it will automatically go ahead and rotate landscape mode my other tip is for printing um, like you can like in the guys know it's a little bit a little tedious to print from your phone or from your tablet device but the app that I use is print hand with print hand you could print to any wireless printer no matter the brand the printer does not need to be connected to the computer um, you could use um, once you set up your printer it will automatically down you could automatically choose the model of your printer and everything and it will download your drivers printer to your tablet which is awesome and from this app you can actually print using Wi-Fi you could use a Bluetooth printer or you can even use a, a, a USB connected printer to the computer and you would use like um, Google um, uh, print drive or whatever the hell they call it and the good thing is you could print files you could print pictures you could print web pages you could print Google Docs you could print emails contacts and calendar it's a very great app and it's only $4.99 and it works flawlessly I have a video for that so let's go go ahead and watch the video and you will see it works awesome and I love it another great feature for the tablet that I am using is Picasa use Picasa for your photos um, you could you could install a pro install a program to your Mac or to your PC and it will automatically upload all your photos to the to the cloud Picasa is owned by Google and you get like I think like two gigabytes for free but right now I'm paying right now I'm paying five dollars a year for 20 gigabytes of storage which is awesome and for photos for me for photos is great 
and the great thing is that it will automatically sync to any phone or any tablet that you purchase in the future and like you can see right here these are all folders and folders and folders of photos that I have in my Picasa account and the great thing is if you lose your tablet or if you lose your computer you will not lose your photos one of my favorite apps for video is MX player let me show you guys right here um, MX player like you can see right there you open it up you will be able to access any folder of video in your tablet or on your phone and the great thing about this um, uh, the great thing about this uh, player is that it will actually play almost any video format you could think of. Another great app that I use religiously on my Nexus 7 tablet on, and on any other phone is a file manager. If you want to have access to your folders and if you want to create folders on your SD card or on your internal me memory, um, go ahead and download ES File Explorer. The ES File Explorer is an amazing file explorer. It, it, it looks very nice, very beautiful, like you can see right there. Um, you can have a, a ultimate control on all your folders, all your apps, all your files. And the great thing about this um, file manager is that it also works as a unzipper. It will unzip um, zip files. They also have a task manager the ES task manager right here I have it in this task manager you can actually go ahead and and, and kill all apps with a touch of a button you could go ahead clear cache with a touch of a button and you can also optimize the performance the power of your of your tablet as well right there I could go ahead and hit and I cleared away 583 cache also you have an app or a widget here that once you touch it Boom, it will automatically kill all the tasks. If you if you feel that your tablet is a little bit laggy, just go ahead and touch that and it will automatically clear everything. And you will have, again, a zippy tablet. So go ahead and try ES File Manager and ES Task Manager. Another great product that Google owns is Google Music. Um, I can't believe the amount of people that don't really know that they have free cloud service for your music you can upload up to 20,000 songs for free no matter the quality of your music no matter the quality of it um, and you have an app that you can access on your phone on your tablet you even have a computer right here this little program right here from Google that you install in your computer and if you actually use iTunes like I do for your music you can still keep using iTunes and it will automatically upload every music that you put on iTunes it will automatically upload it to the cloud so there is no excuse guys there is no excuse this is for free and like I said you have access to it to all your music library and when you're on Wi-Fi, of course, and the great thing about it is that you can also make um, any music that you want available offline as well. Another great service that Google has is Google Voice. And I can't believe a lot of people don't even know about it. Uh, if you have a Google uh, Gmail account, if you have a Google uh, Android phone or any Android phone, guess what? You have a Google Voice number. And all you have to do is log into your Google Voice app, like you see right here on your phone, link it with your phone and with your phone number, and do the same thing with the tablet. Once once you open it up, you're gonna link it to your account, to your to the same Google account you use on your phone, and from here you're gonna have access to all your text messaging that you receive on your phone the great thing about it is that if you have your phone in your room charging and you're in the living room and you receive a text message on your phone it will automatically appear here it will automatically um, sound right here and you will be able to open your vo your text messages and read it and send or reply new text messages and it will also 
have it will also alert you when you have a voicemail on your phone and you can use Google Voice as your voicemail just like I do it and you can listen to any voicemail right here if I go here if you go to voicemail and it will save all your voicemails from way back it, it doesn't really erase your voicemails and anytime you can go ahead look at that that's very nice it works very very good and it will always <laughs> whatever the hell is that uh, that, yeah, that's the great thing about this um, this app that it will automatically store all your voicemails You will have access to your text messaging and this is a free service guys So go ahead and try Google voice if you haven't tried it and it's awesome because you can text from any tablet any phone for free Okay, and now that we talked about Google voice now I want to talk to you about making calls on your tablet a free way to make calls on your tablet it's an app called Groove IP Lite um, the free version is enough you don't really need to pony up the the full price of it once you open it up it has some ads on here in the bottom but it doesn't really bother so once you open it up you could go ahead right here and make um, phone calls to anybody <laughs> whatever let me see if I, I got and right here you can I hope nobody answers and you can make phone calls to anybody using your Google Voice number. This app you links to your Google Voice number and you can make phone calls from your tablet. Um, the tablet has a microphone. I think it's this or yeah, I think that's the microphone. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, I think that's the microphone right there. Let me hang up. Go ahead and try Groove IP to make free phone calls from your tablet. Another thing a lot of people complain is about the storage, 8 gigabyte, 16 gigabyte. People say that's not enough. I say it's enough. Um, there is so many cloud apps and services that it's insane. Right now you have Box.net, you have Dropbox, you have Google Drive, you have SkyDrive, you have SugarSync, you even have Amazon Cloud Services that they all offer free storage to the cloud and you can upload your photos your music your files anything and have access anywhere whenever you want online on Wi-Fi on 3g whatever my favorite service is Dropbox Dropbox I have over wow I have for free I have 50 gigabytes because I purchased my Galaxy S3 and they gave me 50 gigabytes for free so if you go right here and I'm not kidding you can see right there that I have 54.25 gigabytes and that's for free. Another one is Box.net. From Box.net I also have 50 gigabytes for free. And Google Drives, Google Drive I also have 25 gigabytes for free and the great thing about Google Drive is that you could link you could use Google documents you could create documents from within the app as well like you can see right here I also have 25 gigabytes for free and like I said there's a lot of good services and you if you add up all those free services you're gonna have amounts of gigabytes of storage for free access for you for any time I, the one that I totally use because I use it for a long time on my computer, on my cell phones, and on any other tablet is Dropbox. You know, um, Dropbox is amazing. You download a little program to your computer and it automatically syncs a folder to the cloud without you even asking for it. And it works seamlessly. And same thing with Google Drive. Google Drive also has a service just like it that you upload automatically to the cloud. And Microsoft also has um, SkyDrive, which they also give you free um, gigabytes um, of space. Um, with Google, with SkyDrive, I actually have 27 gigabytes for free. So if you add everything up, I can say that I have over 150 gigabytes of storage for free that I can access on any phone any tablet and on my computer so yes guys go ahead and try those um, cloud services a lot of them are for free and there's no excuse if you're crying about 8 gigabytes 16 gigabytes there's no excuse 
okay so go ahead and try those services go ahead and try my tips um, I know that for all the tips that I showed there's other alternate tips but these are the tips that I use every single day since July 14th that I own my Google Nexus 7 tablet and it's been a month already and I've been enjoying my tablet and I haven't been missing no um, storage whatsoever I actually have the 16 gigabyte but but these tips can help you guys to deal with storage so guys I hope you guys like my video and subscribe to my channel and let me know of other tips that you guys might be using maybe I'm missing so guys I hope you guys like the video till next time